I'm awful at interviews. I always have been. It seems like every time I get dressed up and actually try to impress someone, I end up falling on my ass. I had been jobless for about four months by the time I applied for a job at the Apple Store. I had been persuaded to pursue the position by a friend who already worked for the company. He promised me half of his $600 check for referring me. This was incentive enough to take 10 minutes out of my life to apply online. Three days later, I got a message in my inbox inviting me to an invite-only interview at the Weston at Copley downtown. I was amped. I hate going downtown. I hate wearing dress pants. I hate first impressions. Man, I just hate interviews. I got to the Weston about 20 minutes early. I got lost in elevators for a while. Finally found the floor I was supposed to be on. Stepped out of the elevator and saw tons of nerdy-looking boys and sharply-dressed girls all standing in line, fidgeting. I joined in. I stood in line. I waited. They opened the doors to where we were to herd into. I got up to the front of the line and did as the person in front of me had. Hi, what's your name? Robin Deary. Hmm, I'm actually not seeing your name on the list here. Are you sure your interview is today? Um, yes. That's what it said in the email I got. Okay, we'll just write your name in on your sticky. Great. Name tags. I was moved into the hallway then with all the people who had been ahead of me in line. We waited for our next direction. We were all trying so hard not to look as nervous as we were. Or, well, maybe that was just me. Arms crossed, leaning slightly back as to appear confident. Sweating through my shirt. About five minutes went by and a few of Steve Jobs' minions came out of the rooms we were all waiting to go into. They were all too excited. I instantly was reminded of a sick cult. The interviews were split into groups of about 40. We sat in a room with a U-shaped table. A projector was set up in the open end of the tables and a loop of some hip Apple song was playing. I read and reread my resume while I waited for things to get going. I looked at my competition. All nerds. Lights dimmed. Movies started. Telling us how awesome Apple was. Telling us how awesome Steve Jobs was. Telling and retelling us that we really wanted to be an Apple employee. I thought about how sweet 300 bucks would be if I aced this. After the videos were done and I was out of sweat, we moved on to something even more terrifying. Group skits. I looked around the room at who I could potentially be paired up with. We were given numbers. I was four. The other number fours were as follows. An Asian man who looked about 35. He was tall and wore a full suit with his pants pulled up to his belly button. His tie was tucked into his shirt. Classy. A younger Asian boy whom I was almost certain was still in high school. He couldn't stop nervously laughing. I imagined him playing DDR in his free time. The last member was a red-headed guy who reminded me of every boy I have ever hated. He stared at my boobs the entire time. He also talked too fast. This never fails to annoy me. The skit could be about anything. I immediately thought I had the best idea in the world. Oh man, we should all go up there and pretend we're in a band and like play our band instruments with our mouths. It'd be cool and off-topic and original, like hair band, but an air band. Even now, when I think of this idea, I feel completely genius. The boys just looked at me like I was the dumbest girl in the world. Redhead started talking about something or other with the environment. Like, how about we talk about how Apple is going green? And like, because they've been targeted for not being Earth friendly, we could talk about how they actually are. He knew his stuff, I guess, but I wanted to make fun of him so bad. Uh, actually, Apple went green in 1997 after Steve Jobs made a keynote about how eco-friendly they are. Their computer bodies are made of recycled paper. You didn't know. Don't you watch the keynotes? However, I refrained. We spent our entire 15 minutes standing in silence then, because my group was busy staring at my tits. My idea wasn't Apple enough for them, and Red's idea was too stupid. 
the Asians stay out of it all. I watched every other group rehearse and beam with satisfaction at their brilliant Apple skits. I watched every other person get the job I needed. I watched that fucking $300 slip slide away. We were the last group to go. Everyone else had really cute and funny skits. I glared at my group from across the U-shaped table. I called them all dicks in my mind, hoping they'd hear my telepathic anger, understand, and just leave the interview so I could go and play air guitar for the Steve Job Ponds. No such luck. Okay, group four. The four of us slowly got up and made our sorry ass way up to the front of the room. Forty hungry eyes sized us up. A redhead, an old Asian, a young Asian, and a barely pretty girl. Great. We stood there for a second while we sized up our audience, too. Okay, so those are all going to be tough acts to follow because, um, we don't have anything to show. So since I'm totally embarrassed by this, I'm just going to go ahead and dance it off. And proceeded to start dancing like an artard in front of 30 boys and four hip hiring employees. The other nerds in my group caught on, and after I included Buy a Mac as lyrics to part of my dance, the boys followed suit. While everyone else had well-rehearsed nice skits, my group had an improvisational dance complete with vocals. God damn it. I practically ran back to my seat and hoped to God this whole ordeal would be over soon. I left the Westin that day feeling defeated and stupid. No 300 bucks for me. No cult job for me. All I had was a name tag and train fare to get home. They never called me back, but I'm still awesome. I went in with nothing, worked with nothing, and left with an absolutely ridiculous experience. And plus, I'm a fabulous dancer. They have no idea what they missed out on. <laughs>